we're here at James Wilden Johnson. Not only is James Wilden Johnson home of Duval County Public Schools, but it's also home to the Education Department at Edward Waters College. So, with us not only James Wilden Johnson, how are we able to have classes in James Wilden Johnson? We currently have an agreement with the Duval County Schools to offer services to the students who are also housed in James Wilder Johnson. We occupy one floor in the building. Dr. Marvin Grant went on to discuss the future plans for James Walden Johnson and our education department, which is housed at James Walden Johnson. So that was only Dr. Marvin Grant's idea of James Walden Johnson and how he felt about James Walden Johnson. So then I went and spoke with some students about James Walden Johnson, the location, how they feel about parking, and if it's an overall good idea. So how do you feel about classes being at James Walden Johnson? I think it's too far for people that don't drive for them to have to walk so far. Okay, so how do you feel about parking at James Walden Johnson? I don't think it's enough parking for the amount of students that have classes over here, and I think there should be more parking and not so far from the gym that we have to walk even further to come to class. I reached out to Duval County Public School System to see what they had to say about the James Wilder Johnson situation, and I got no response. So there you have it. You've learned so much about James Wilder Johnson, as well as Edward Waters College, our future goals, what we plan to do with James Wilder Johnson, and if that's going to work. That's Cabril with EWC TV, and I'm checking out.